Look around any ballpark and there is technology everywhere. They kind of just dropped it on us. Nobody, no, nobody knew at all. Pitch clocks, laptops, cameras, and now the umpire. No problems with it for me. The Arizona Fall League has gone computerized. All pitches are now called by a machine. At the beginning of each game, the home plate umpire is fitted with a device and puts on an earpiece. Sensors in the ballpark are able to track each pitch, which relays the call to the ump, who informs the players. I still feel undecided, even though um, it's really seemed to favor pitchers. I like the human nature of the game at the end of the day. The TrackMan technology used is already in every major league ballpark. This is what displays the pitch speed on TV broadcasts and gives you a virtual view in your app. To say it has been an adjustment is an understatement. High curveball is getting called now. It's not. A, it doesn't look like a good pitch. It doesn't look like a good pitch to an umpire, but it's technically crossing the zone. We work on pitch framing and uh, trying to steal strikes, and uh, they've been doing a great job doing that all year. And then now you come here and you're like, oh, it's electronic. So you, what do you do? And you know, at this point now, it's just uh, you just catch the ball, and it's kind of it just changes the game. So now I guess they can worry more about the runners and trying to throw people out. As of right now, the robo umps are only being used in minor and developmental leagues. It is unknown if we'll see them in the bigs. If we do, it may not be worth arguing over. Well, I like it strictly for the fact that it's consistent. You know exactly what's going to happen. You know, I'm not going to get a call here and then I throw the same pitch and it's a ball. So overall, you know, a little in favor of it, but like I said, I don't know where it's going to go after this. Yeah. A country shuffle. An eight bar blues lick. Well, got a four barrel car. For Phoenix resident Cody Mason, these sounds come with emotion. Not because of the music, but because of the guitar they're played with. A piece that I built and remembrance of my brother who passed away in 2016. I built this guitar and housed his ashes in it. But when Cody came home earlier this week, he immediately knew something was wrong. Nothing there. Uh, my heart just dropped at that point when I realized that they had taken this. Not knowing what to do, Cody reached out on social media. Pictures of this guitar and the story of my brother and the reason why I built this guitar and just how I desperately wanted it back. Waking up the next day with little hope, he took a look outside. I looked out the window here and just immediately started crying and hyperventilating. There in the driveway was the guitar. All I know is this is, you know, a piece of my family. You know, this is my brother. Reunited, Cody will continue to jam with his guitar and his brother. I almost feel like when I play this guitar, you know, he's there with me and he almost takes over. And out of the hundreds of thousands of fans at this week's Waste Management Phoenix Open, one was particularly special. As ABC 15's Cameron Pollum tells us, he also had a message for his favorite golfer. With all the celebration, Bill Mickelson! And craziness of the 16th hole of the Phoenix Open, one fan sits up in the skybox, quietly taking it all in. My first time on to a professional golf tournament. Peter McDonald is one of the eight surviving Navajo code talkers. The code talkers helped transmit secret messages during World War II using their native language that was undecipherable to the enemy. Very happy to uh, be here to promote National Navajo Code Talker Museum that we are working on. The the effort is to preserve the El Pueblo Motel in Flagstaff where the motel's former owner recruited Navajo men to serve during the war. Today is a special day for me because I get to see my favorite player, a fellow Navajo, Ricky Fowler. Mr. McDonald got to see Ricky Fowler on hole 16 and once he finished his round, Fowler came over and said hi. Hey, My God, this is a real pleasure. Oh, thank you. Nice to meet you. Fowler, who has a Navajo Navajo grandmother said he had never met a code talker before and that it was quite the honor. It's special. I mean, uh, being quarter Navajo, uh, it's a big part of who I am. You know, the code talkers were a big part of us having our freedom here in the U.S. Very proud of you, Ricky. Thank My you. My wife told me to give you a hug. Yeah? Her. All right. 
Thank you. I'm Cameron Polum, ABC 15 Arizona. Oh, man. Yeah. All the feels, as the kids Seriously. say.